circle back to the servant's neck. For life is too short to be serious. You would think if you leave the house at 8 o'clock, you may be able to make it at 9 if you're doing a fee review. But whatever reason, I just, my mind is frazzled. It's a lot of work. And now I got to realize, wake up at 7, take a shower, get out, get out. So that's what I'll do tomorrow for Duncan's review. But Starbucks has a slew of new items for their summer menu part two. Still have some items from the summer menu part one, or maybe all of them. But anyways, they've just added to the menu some new energy drinks. Um, that's, that's the big thing they're going for right now. They had planned a uh, cinnamon crumble oat milk frappuccino they canceled it but if you go online and look it up you can find the ingredients and really the only thing you can't get is the cinnamon syrup but they have two different cinnamon syrups they have a cinnamon dulce which is what i got we'll see what happens and you've got a cinnamon caramel so i said well the dulce they may be more cinnamon forward so we'll have to see uh there's also a salty caramel cookie matcha cold foam matcha um the vanilla, the oat milk vanilla cream, you can get it as a cold foam or just a just mixed in. Uh, it's cold brews, but for whatever reason, I guess that's the first drinks they prepared and they, they've completely absorbed into the coffee. So, anyways, uh, two new food items as well blueberry shrewsel muffin and a uh, pesto mozzarella. And there was a third thing it's pesto mozzarella sandwich with you know egg so we're gonna go ahead try and put this thumbnail together um a lot of moving parts of course so just bear with me uh I, I usually i have to use two hands to get everything so trying to use one hand here for that second uh thing is certainly going to be a challenge but we got it it's just about rotation and balance at this point and these are kind of heavy for whatever reason so we're not going to rotate my hat but we are going to try and rotate that and yeah i don't look great but the thumbnail looks good right i don't look good but the thumbnail does and at the end of the day y'all are here for the food or at least most of y'all so you know as long as we get the thumbnail right i think things are going to be fine all right so energy drinks first we'll do the melon burst melon cucumber and a passion tango type of vibe to it i, I don't know what they're thinking but maybe i should have started with the frozen one but we're doing the frozen one last we're doing the ice and the frozen one and then we're moving on to the coffees so again melon cucumber and a pango Passion Tango. Something like that. All right, energy drink. Let's try it. I'm usually not a fan of these energy drinks, so let's, let's just find out. It's not terrible. It's very artificial. And, of course, you get that, that bubbly carbonation to it. It's only an acquired taste. Someone out there is going to really enjoy this. Me, at least for the melon one, not so much. It's not the worst thing I've had. Um, it's got flavor. Maybe not the kind of flavor that I would prefer in my life. But I give it like a four. Alright, moving on. This is the Tropical Citrus Energy Drink. It is um, passion fruit. And citrus so let's try it slightly better not by much I like that 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 flavor that it's got like the past fruit and the citrus but whatever else is in there kind of throws me off Yeah, I'm gonna give it a five. I just, for whatever reason, something in there just makes the flavor just not as enjoyable. Now the frozen one, you should probably get a straw. They give you the, the normal lid um, 
for whatever reason. But yeah, you should probably get a straw, but I'm gonna try drinking it out of the lid. That's much better. That's strawberry, so this is frozen tropical citrus, the strawberry puree. And let me just tell you what, easily can tell you, this one, much better than the other two. You still get that, um, I'm gonna use a straw now, but you still get that My kind of day. A whole mess of things. The paper wants to get in the straw. You know, things don't want to cooperate. But the strawberry puree really makes this one a lot better. And it's really interesting with that burst of energy flavor. The passion fruit and the citrus still, you know, heavy when you go down there. But that strawberry puree is a game changer. still not the best thing you'll ever have but for what it's worth i'm gonna give it a, a solid seven and a half so if you're gonna get an energy drink if you're really in the mood for one do the frozen one other two just skip them all right so don't want to jump into the food yet see we've got a long video going on um i guess we'll do the vanilla cream stuff so here's the cold brew or yeah the cold brew with cold foam as you see, it's all gone. The cold foam is gone, so. What you're left with is still absolutely delicious, though. I don't know why well, it's kind of warm. I don't know if they just didn't put ice in it or what. But the flavor works really well. I could drink that all day. I would give that an eight and a half. Easy, the flavor's really delicious, it's rich. But let's see about it being iced. Let's see if this is better. Oddly enough, no. It's less flavorful. At least with that, even though it was warm, it was flavorful. This is decent. And it still doesn't really feel like a different experience from like drinking regular coffee and regular milk. Hmm. I give it. I give it a seven. It's still good. It's just not like rich like the other one we just had. All right, this is salted caramel matcha, pretty much, or salted caramel cookie matcha. But it comes with the uh, cinnamon crumbles. And uh, I guess there's salted caramel in the, it's salted caramel cold foam, cinnamon crumbles, and your regular masha. So it's kind of drifted into the masha at this point and they didn't put enough masha. But, you know, let's try it anyway. It's like cinnamon toast crunch. Now that that kind of gets me excited for the frappuccino. It's just weird in the mosh. I don't know. Um, it's not bad, but it's not gelling. I. Mm, I'm gonna give it a five. It's just, and I love a lot of the masha stuff they do. It typically that's one of my favorite items. Every time they do a new masha item, but that mm, it wasn't jelly. It was weird. It was cinnamon toast crunch and masha. And I know I, I mispronounced matcha, but you know it's cool. All right, last drink, and then we're going to the food items. Ah. Claire. All right, this was a frappuccino again. It seemed to have melted some. And uh, so they were supposed to be doing a cinnamon crumble. They were supposed to be doing a cinnamon crumble oat milk frappuccino with and without coffee. And uh, well, they canceled it. But 
you could still mostly get it. You have a choice between cinnamon, caramel, and cinnamon dulce syrup on the app. I went with dulce because I guess we'll probably get more cinnamon flavor. But yeah, we're going to take a look and see if this is anything of any semblance of what we were probably going to get. Very reminiscent of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And I think that's kind of the vibe that they would have wanted to go for. That's kind of what they would have wanted y'all to feel like. And they kind of robbed us because the rest of the menu, I mean, to be honest, other than like, I mean, the finale oat milk's really good, but it is a letdown, right? What I'm thinking here, it's the only difference that we've got in this from what we would have had, because I think it would have been a stronger cinnamon flavor. Uh, but it's still really solid. Uh, I'd give what we've got here in my hand, I give this an eight. So it, it works. Um, and it probably would have been even better, you know, if they had done the real item, but. We'll have to see if they end up dropping it at some point or if it's gone for good. But it, it's really good. Uh, and I paid a lot of money for it. So I can't really say, hey, go get this. Because then you're going to get mad at me because they charge you 50 cent for everything that, that you add. So, you know, I'm just out here living my best life, I guess. All right. So let's change it up. Make, make our lives a little bit savory with the pesto mozzarella breakfast sandwich all right let's take a bite mm. heavy on the pesto but delicious nice little crunch fluffy egg this is probably the best item of the of the whole menu the whole new menu mm. It's buttery too. Folks, I usually like hate on their breakfast stuff because you know their their bakery items don't usually perform too well. But that is delicious. That is an easy 10 out of 10. One of the best food items I've ever had from Starbucks. All right, now we've got the blueberry streusel muffin. Let's go ahead and take a bite out of this. My goodness. It's so light and fluffy. And it's just almost perfection. I, I can't taste much of the blueberry, but there's plenty of blueberries. Mmm, there we go. Very delightful. Dare I say this is a 10 2. So the bakery items stole the show. No doubt. Um, the drinks, just okay. But yeah. That is really all I've got to say on that. And other than that, go get you some new bakery items. Uh, maybe the Strawberry Parade energy drink. And if you're a big fan of oat milk, I think you'll be happy with those. And uh, yeah, uh, if you want to drop some money on customizing your own uh, cinnamon crumble frappuccino, go for it. Anyways, other than that, I'll see y'all around. Yeah!